Hi, welcome back to Dragon Quest. So, we are in the void on the field of discipline that's been conjured by Grandmaster Pang, who did indeed move on to the next world, I suppose. Maybe she might be able to come back with us, but I, I don't know. Either way, guess who's here? Rab! We found his body skeletally thin, so we figured he was dead, but apparently not. He's alive and well in the void. The sacred technique of the Luminary Legend, eh? If you can master that, there'll be no stopping you. But listen, laddie, I'm not gonna make it easy for you. After all, I got my own secret power to master. Get yourself ready for a right royal rumble. Um, so apparently he came here to learn one more technique from Grandmaster Pang, uh, that would apparently send enemies straight to, well, here, I guess, the void. Straight to the other side, and I am to learn a technique that will cut through all four dimensions. Don't know what all four dimensions are, but we'll see if I can master it or not. Well, Norn, are you ready to fight your grandfather? Yes. Wait, no. Before we continue, allow me to give your grandfather an unfair advantage. All in the name of speeding up your training, of course. alive in decades let me add a little blighter well that's not nice that's the Don't spirit call me names don't hold back show him the true power of our last and greatest secret just you watch me luminary prepare yourself beat back the onslaught and unleash the technique if you can the more you use it the stronger it will become. You must practice until it is perfect. But I haven't learned it yet. Here I come, laddie. It's time to show you what this old man can do. Rap prepares for his next attack. Officer prayer to the spirits and opens those curly gates. Youch! Oh boy! Um, Quadra Slash. A single enemy only version of an almighty attack originally used by Luminary of long ago. That's it? With a little help from Grandmaster Pang, Grab carries doppelgangers of himself. Oh, oh boy. Um. Nothing happens. So you already have double gangers, you nun nut. <laughs> it definitely is getting stronger. That's not great. 
Thousand experience points for doing practically nothing. Oh yes, wonderful! I couldn't have beaten him more soundly myself. I must say, I doubted you had it in you, but you have proved me wrong, and for once, that is no bad thing. Quadrasash. The power of the technique comes from your heart. Hone that greatest of weapons, and none will be able to stand before you. Now, I think it's time we peeled that old degenerate off the flagstones, don't you? <laughs> you beat me, even with the last secret of angry law in my side. Oh, I can't believe how much you've grown, laddie. You weren't too much of an embarrassment, no. Perhaps I finally have a disciple worthy of the name. <gasps> oh! Grandmaster, are ye? One that Erdwin and Morkan performed together. Well, don't just stand there. <laughs> Combine your powers. Revive the technique that was lost to us so long ago. So that I can die happy. You dare to resist me? Do exactly as I say. Exactly when I say it. <gasps> we have only one chance. Robert, do not think. Act. Use the technique I taught you. Quickly! Angular. The technique to end all techniques. 
Solar flare. Oh, cool. is back with us. Oh. 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 But he is greatly weakened. We must get him to the temple right away. Exhausted after the events in the void, Norn falls into a deep sleep. In his dreams, he sees the smiling face of Grandmaster Pang, lit by the light of the ultimate ability of Angrila. Then morning comes. And then the morning came. And then the loading screen happened. Ah. You are finally awake. Good. I feared you had suffered some lasting injury. Lord Robert awoke a short while ago. He's outside speaking with the High Lama. We should join them. Again. What happened to Jade? <laughs> When your friend carried you in here unconscious, I was deeply concerned, but by the grace of heaven, it seems that you have suffered no lasting harm. The rabbit and his holiness await you outside the high hall. I am sure they will be relieved, as relieved as I to see you well. You won't believe this, Luminary. I just met the legendary Red Cheeked Seeker, and he really does have rosy red cheeks, just like everyone says. Oh, Rap is the Red Cheeked Seeker. I'm assuming that's who they mean. He's the only new addition. So the hermit who hurried away to the top of the mountain was none other than the red-cheeked seeker, the Grand Master's most infamous pupil. To think that he would send his soul into the great beyond to learn the ancient secrets of Zangri La. Truly his achievements continue to be the stuff of legend. What do you have to say, if anything new? This is the field of discipline. Uh-huh. Yada yada yada. Oh, well, we look at all that. Do you have anything new to say? His Holiness told us that he and Robert Robert would wait for you outside the High Hall. You should go and speak with them. Nor, and His Holiness tells us that you sent your soul into the void and received instruction from Grandmaster Pang. My congratulations on passing her trial. I had thought to train you myself, but it seems that will not be necessary. The powers you have mastered are far beyond anything I could teach you. I don't know, I can't do that. Welcome back, Luminary. A thousand thank yous for saving the Hermit in our stead. We are in your debt. At long last, I have recovered from my wounds and returned to my training. As a disciple of Angela, it is my duty to stay strong. You're holding yourself up with a finger. I think you did it. Not only did you rescue Lord Robert from that monster-infested mountain, you saved his soul from the void as well. None but the Luminary could have achieved such a feat. This dance may look simple, but it takes many years of training. Uh-huh. Shall prevail. Which just goes to show you never know when somebody is going to have stuff to add. Or is just going to say the same thing as before. Him, however, we know. Luminary, you have finally awoken. You and your grandfather were a little worse for wear when His Holiness brought you back, but it seems that you are both well on the mend. I thank the heavens that you've returned to us safe and sound. Oh, hello there, laddie. Better late than never, eh? What 
are you staring at me like that for? There's a something on my face. It is your physique, Lord Robert. You were a good deal slighter only a short time ago. <laughs> oh, that! Nothing a good breakfast couldn't cure. Uh, the Grand Master put me through worse on more than one occasion. Lord Robert has told me what came to pass in the void, that you met Grand Master Pang, and that she trained you in the ancient arts. I hear that you were even able to master the ultimate abilities of your ancestor Erdwin. You have my congratulations. And I hear that I owe you a debt of thanks, Sir Hendrik, for looking after the boy here while I was away. Please think nothing of it, my lord. It is the least I could do to make amends for all the wrongs I have done. Indeed, I feel I must apologize. Ah, oh, don't torture yourself over it, son. We've all been pawns in Mordigan's game. You have nothing to apologize for. Gee. He's a bit magnanimous. Thank you. Truly. What do you intend to do now? We had hoped to find guidance here in Angry La, but alas, we find ourselves at an impasse. Well, funnily enough, I was just thinking about something Grandmaster Pang told me. She said Old Erdwin used a very special form of transport when he went after the Dark One. Some sort of sacred flying contraption. Whatever could that mean? I didn't get the chance to ask her any more about it. But it sounds like just what we need to get up to that castle and knock Mordigan off his perch. As for our old friends, none of them were exactly the giving up type, eh? If I'm still alive and kicking, you can bet the rest of them are out there somewhere. So, what say we head over to Arborea and keep an eye out for our pals on the way? If this flying doodad's supposed to be sacred, the folks over there will know something about it for sure. There's no time to lose. The longer we wait, the stronger Mordigan gets. So, let's get going. Well, rejoins the party. New panels have been unlocked in his character builder. He's not the one I would have chosen first, but... Rab can now use the Pearly Gates ability, and Norn and Rab can now use the Solar Flare Pep Power. Honored Luminary, we disciples of Angrila will do all that we can to aid you in your preparations to take on the Lord of Shadows. We have even devised a special training regime for you. Visit us again soon. We will stand ready to help you hone your powers. Cycle worthy of the name, awarded for overcoming the unforgiving trials of Grandmaster Pang and mastering the most closely guarded secrets of Angra La. Please let me become a disciple and train with you. I want to become a mighty warrior and fight back against the monsters. This warrior wishes to become a disciple of Angra La. Normally would not allow outsiders to join us, but given the great state of the world, we cannot turn him away. Desperate times call for desperate measures. So long as he is willing and able to train, Angra La will welcome him with open arms. Okay, so Arborea is our ultimate goal. I could hardly believe my eyes. Lord Robert was thin as a rake when we sat down to breakfast, but as he gulped his butter tea and galloped his sampa, he put the pounds back on right there as I watched. Truly, his powers are far beyond those of a normal man. It's no wonder he was the Grand Master's favorite. Arborea and Angrila sit on the same mountain range that surrounds the first forest. The ridge between our village was once a busy trade route. Thanks to the Grandmaster's ma Mandela, Angola survived the blast that reduced most of the world to rubble. I fear Alboria may not have been so fortunate. Hooray! You saved the hermit. You must be a million times stronger than my brother. Can you teach him how to be tough like you? Yes. Thank you. My brother always goes up too easy. He needs a good kick up the backside. <laughs> may maybe that could be part of your training. It won't be long until I have a new lease of life as... 
That's so creepy. Such a relief to finally see the face of my old friend Rab again. He had been missing for so long, I have started to fear the worst. Let's go ahead and save. Yes, 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 yes. Shoo, 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 shoo. Go, 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 go. Away, away, away. Shoot. Okay, so we're both pepped up, so we can do that pep power. Just to get into a fight with the the dragon thingy. Rab has nothing equipped. Let's see. Um, rod of rapidity. Magical Might would be 175. Magical Mending would be 198. 73, 191. Iron Claws. Crow's Claws. Rune Staff. 182. Magical Mending, 203. Lightning Staff, 181, 195. Staff of Sentencing. 176, 193. And Staff of Anti Magic, 183, 196. A long time to be able to put this on you. Ah! Don't you just look like a king? Alrighty, slime earrings, safety goggles, ice damage, 284, 87, magical might, magical mending. It might be good. Let's put that on. And then. Let's up your defense a little bit. Papillon Pendant, maximum HP, maximum MP, restorative. So it looks like the Shield Bearer is the highest one. Okay. One ninety six, one ninety seven, one ninety nine. Charm would go down. Maximum HP would go down. Defense would go up. Necklace of immunity. Hmm. Attack would go up. Defense evasion. Everybody was taken away. Let's put on... What was it? A dogged collar. Caster Sugar. Okay. So, Heavy Wands, Moderate MP Recovery After Battle, Magical Mending when wielding plus 30. Go for that. And let's go anti magic. And then Ring of Ruin. 
absorption when wielding plus 4%, maximum MP when wielding plus 10, 8 and 6, so not enough. Let's go with this one. And then we'll start going up here. Alright. Oh, I did everything in swords. Huh. Sword mastery. 16, 25. It was like user declaration and counter block capture successful block of carry. Okay. I think we are good to go. We'll get into a battle with that serpent, come back and finish up that quest. The Grandmaster may have spared the temple and its inhabitants from harm, but there are many all over Erdrea who are not lucky enough to be saved. It is your duty, your destiny, in fact, to restore hope to those who remain. We are counting on you, Luminary. Ever since my mother first told me about the red-cheeked seeker, the Grandmaster's most famous disciple, he's been my hero. I always imagined him to be a massive muscleman with bulging biceps and a bushy black beard, but he's just a doddery old man. It's caused a little bit of a shock. Poor thing. We slandered your name and hunted you like a wild beast, yet still you fought to save us. The others would have been so magnanimous. You are a man of great honor and luminary. I pray that you prevail in a battle against the Lord of Shadows. So, he had other things to say, but, well, go us. We didn't let it. Him talk. Oops. I don't normally do that. There you come. The rabbit sent his soul into the void, that great space between this life and the next, to master the ancient teachings of anger law. He plunged into the unknown, thinking nothing for his own safety, and emerged stronger and wiser. No wonder he was the Grand Master's favorite pupil. It was not by chance that the very first Grand Master of anger law. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, yee! Be not afraid, I shall stand guard by these steps to ensure that no monsters enter the temples. So long as I am here, anger law is safe. Welcome to Angola, where disciples from the world over come to train their bodies and their minds. Luminary, you are free to enter. Indeed, as a prince of Dindrazil, you are like family to us. Please make yourself at home. It's no wonder that... Um... What's his face? <laughs> If we're going to finally face the Lord of Shadows, it sounds like we may well need that flying contraption Erdlin once used. And if we're trying to follow in the Great Man's footsteps, another visit to Arborea might not be a bad idea. But before we head up there, there's a sneaky wee path through the mountains west of the coast of the Lore that leads to the Champs Sauvage. Might as well have a nose around while we're in the area, eh? Listen. The High Lama said he had prepared a special training program for us. I would be interested to visit the Field of Discipline to learn more. The rigorous training that takes place on Mount Pang Lai is legendary. I am certain that we would benefit from taking part. I mean, since we're here, I guess we might as well do that, right? Can't hurt. Look, we go. Where it stops, nobody knows. Yep, up, up further. Hello, up further. Yep, there we go. Loading screens. They never end. Path to the field of discipline. Welcome, Luminary, to the field of discipline. Here you may pitch yourself against the wheel of Harma, and by doing battle with ever more powerful foes, Learn to draw out every last ounce of your strength in battle. But there are two things you must keep in mind should you undertake this challenge. Firstly, consider the strengths and weaknesses of both your foes and your companions when choosing who is to face the wheel. 
Secondly, do all that you can to defeat your opponents with as few actions as possible. Remember, I would be counting the total number of actions taken by all members of your party. Should you best your foe efficiently enough, your efforts will be rewarded. Make sure to give it your all. For enough talk, please, luminary, select the first trial. So which of the Wheel of Harmless Trials do you wish to undertake? Ooh. Battles 2, Participants 3. Victory, the Emperor's New Axe. Within 16 moves, Staff of Divine Wrath. Then 12 moves, Saint's Ashes. Within 8 moves, Sage's Rose. Uh-huh. First battle, single-handed serpent slaying. Eh. The four horrors of Heliodor. And then... Put him in. Confirm. Deadly dragon draws near. Ow. Let's see. Anathematize. Blunt. Let's do anathematize. Yes. That's not good. Yikes. work out. Should've known Rab wouldn't be the right one to choose. He didn't even get in a swipe. Alright, so let's see. Let's zoom. Last Bastion, Heliodor region, Court of Valor, Quest of Valor, L'Academy de Notre Métaux de Médaille, Mount Peng Lai, Let's go to the Costa Valor campsite. He says something about trying to move along the Champ Sauvage. So we might do that. Oh shit! Lord have mercy. Sorry. I'm gonna have to go back. Stupid pet power quest thing. Now that I'm back in the proper place. <laughs> All right, let's go down here and find one of those things. The serpent, the Boreal serpent. me. I don't think I, yeah, I didn't attack the shit. Let's get rid of it. I don't need my pet power going away before I get to the dragon. Sorry. All is well that ends well. Diligence is its own reward. Cool. More heal. Cool. No. No shit! Wrong thing. Huh. I 
That's not great. Let's hope this time we actually hit the freaking. Where is it? It's above. There we go. Victory is ours. Okay. Now we can go back and finish that quest. <laughs> quickly now, quickly. And then we'll zoom on to um Coast of Allure. to find this quest giver real quick make me split my congratulations i know that you have passed the trial the aura of triumph flows through every chakra you have seen the true power of the first teaching of anger loss someone that seems spirit on the battlefield and none shall stand on your path a, though this enlightenment is its own reward please allow me to add a small token of my own congratulation may have served you well in the battles to come Mystic. Not all have been as successful as you in passing this trial. You. Many years ago, a disciple named Robert attempted it, but fled at the first sight of the serpent. Some say that it was not fear that made him flee, but that he purposely failed the trial in order to earn the Grand Master's ire. Truly, he was a glutton for punishment. I pray that you do not develop similar proclivities. The training that our disciples undergo here may be harsh, but only by overcoming such trials can one hope to find enlightenment. And learned that when Rab tried the same trial, he didn't exactly cover himself with glory. Hilarious. Actually, I want to check. Quest. 45 new ones. Yay! There's a chef near the church in Phenomenon who seems to be in need of some inspiration. Why don't you try talking to him and seeing what's up? This quest can't be accepted yet. Young girl's ghost appears in one of the classrooms at l'Académie de notre maître de Medaille when night falls. And those cannot be accepted yet. A vagrant fee. Oh boy, guys. Let's go to the Coast of the Lore campsite. The mango grove. Champ Sauvage. Phenomenon. Academy Schoolyard. Now what? I can't believe it took me so long to actually figure that out. So he said we should go to the Champ Sauvage, but I don't know that there was any real point to it. Hmm, the eerie irie. Hmm, 
new things now. I guess because we now have the mount available. Magical might really doesn't do much. They fuse them together. Oh no! It's a vicious king slime. How shall I ever defeat it? well indeed no okay This was once a paradise in our dry up, but now that the Lord of Shadows reigns supreme, so one cannot know what horrors lurk behind every corner. Be on your guard. Um. Let's rest. And then we'll continue on. Onward and upward. There will be a point to coming here. I don't know how to get to Ardre Arboria. I generally don't know how they managed to go unscathed. Nothing else here. 
It's all done in. Right. Yep, nothing else. I didn't think there would be, but you never know. Do any of these wells have actual water in them? be just me out here training to be tough, but since the world tree fell, everyone's been at it. I know it's a bit selfish, but I'm glad I'm not doing it on my own anymore. It makes it so much more fun. Now I can have some company on my quest to outdo the one and only Sterling Silva. No matter what manner of obstacle stands in our way, a true lady must overcome it with poise, polish, and perseverance. Even in these awful times, we must strive to replicate the eternal elegance of La Colectrice, who stands immortalized in bronze in the school gardens. The statue is based on the academy's very first chef de classe, Lady Minette Maximilian. Ah, if I could have but a fraction of her grace. She's still standing there. Thanks for making that whip. So we have to go to the hotto step for that perfume. And then Hmm. Ugh, not this again. Oh, hello, it's me, Madeline, the head dinner monitor. Madame Croque's meals haven't been very tasty lately. It's just stale bread and funny tasting bacon every single day. What happened to all the delicious food she used to make? The stuff that made my taste buds sing. I imagine food is a little bit harder to come by these days. We was all the troubles in the world, it's been very hard to get all the good ingredients lately. I've had to work harder than ever to make the most of what I've got. But no matter how difficult it might be, the meals I make must be nutritious and delicious. These growing girls must eat. Sorry, little lady. Make sure you watch your manners around Madame Labouche. She's a deportment mistress, which means she's very fussy about appearance and behavior. She's bad enough with us girls, so I can't even imagine how strict she'd be with the boy. You're not even supposed to be here. I'd be very, very careful around her if I were you. Why, thank you. Oh, look, my secret admirer. So apparently there's... somebody who is here at night time. Touch the Yggdrasil root? Huh. Oh, hold on. I guess that just lets us see all of the cutscenes from the game. Lots of cutscenes. So many cutscenes. here guys and in the next episode we're going to continue on I guess to phenomenon maybe since the academy doesn't have anything else here um actually we might 
rest till evening and then try again and see if we can't get that quest for the lady at the night. Um, but that'll be the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.